Eureka Palm. Complete Growing Guide. If you wish to gain complete knowledge about this plant then, please keep on watching. Here's how you can repot a nursery brought areca palm. For the potting mix you'll need 50% organic compost 10% sand 30% garden soil 10% neem cake powder Combine all the ingredients well to create a potting mix. The most important part of growing an areca palm is ensuring that the plant has healthy soil. These plants love soil that is porous, light and well-drained. Hence, this potting mixture works great for areca palms. Cut open and remove the bag in which the plant came in. Oftentimes, Plants bought from a nursery don't come in the correct soil and lack vital growth nutrients. Therefore, repotting promotes plant growth and ensures its long-term health. Use light-handed strokes and carefully separate the existing soil from the root ball. Be careful while doing this as we do not want to destroy any roots. Take a pot of your choice. Add chips or pebbles to block the drainage holes to avoid soil from leaching out. I have used hydrogen balls also known as clay pebbles or leca. These porous balls absorb moisture and keeps air circulating so the roots get plenty of oxygen. Add a handful of dried moss. This helps the soil retain water and nutrients close to the plant's roots. Gently place the plant in the center and fill the pot with the potting mix. Finally, water the plant thoroughly. Here's everything you need to know about areca palms. Areca palms are most commonly known as butterfly palm, golden cane palm or yellow palm. This is a low-maintenance, easy-to-care and grow tropical houseplant known for its toxin filtering properties. Soil. This plant requires a well-drained, porous potting mix that does not hold a lot of moisture. Light. These plants love bright, filtered sunlight. Direct sunlight results in scorched fronds. Fertilizer. Fertilize the areca palm during spring. Buy an 8, 2, 12 mix fertilizer, preferably slow-release granular pellets. Water. Areca palms like moist soil. Be sure to let your potting mix dry out slightly between waterings. Pests Common pests for areca palms include mites, mealybugs, scale, and white flies. These cause foliage damage and discoloration. To get rid of pests spray the plant with fungicides such as neem oil extract. Temperature. 
These tropical plants require high humidity and warm temperatures that range between 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Common problems with areca palms. Leaf tip burn. This means that the leaves and tips of the plant turn yellow or brown. This can happen due to the following reasons. Chilled air. Overwatering. Underwatering. Compacted roots and poor soil conditions. Leaf spots. Areca palms are commonly affected by leaf spotting fungi. To prevent these, use fungicidal sprays containing copper. Root rot. This can happen if your plant is sitting in water. Avoid overwatering especially when humidity levels are low. Yellow leaves. This is a clear indication of underwatering. To help revive a dying palm plant, give the soil deep watering to bring it back to life. Hey plant lover, do you own an areca palm? I grow mine indoors. Let me know in the comments below where do you grow yours. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.